These people started off with a great show of faith, with a great burst of enthusiasm. They were like uh, plants that just seemed to spring right out of the ground, and they were up in no time at all. And people said, my, this is a marvelous garden. This is a terrific crop. What an amazing response to the witnessing and preaching of the Word of God. And then you turned around, as it were, and you turned back, and they'd all begun to shrivel, and they began to die. That's the parable of the sower, incidentally. Some who received the seed instantly bloomed and instantly faded, and their instant fading was an indication of the fact that there had never been a realistic root structure so as to be indicative of genuine faith. The New Testament warns us both by precept and by example that some professing Christians may not persevere in their profession of Christ to the end of their lives. It's a solemn thought, but it is clearly there on the surface of Scripture. Verse 2 of chapter 4, "...for we also have had the gospel preached to us, just as they did." But in the, in the case of these individuals, we're told the message they heard was of no value to them, because those who heard it did not combine it with faith. The salutary reminder that it is possible to attend a church like Parkside Church, to listen to the ministry of the Word of God from the servants of the Word of God in this place, and for it to be like water falling on concrete, absolutely impervious to its truth. All kinds of information rattling around in our heads, nothing that has reached our hearts, nothing that has commandeered our wills, and nothing that has changed our lives. That's one of the reasons that, that James says, don't just be hearers of the Word, but be doers also, as if somehow or another there was an option, like you could just be a hearer, or you could be a hearer plus a doer. That's not what he's saying. He's saying it is in the doing of the Word that we reveal the fact that we're genuine hearers. Because even the pagans can hear the Word, but it's of no value to them because they don't combine it with faith. When we combine it with faith, then we do what it says, and it is in the doing of what it says that we give reality to the fact that we have ears to hear what is being proclaimed. 